Hey there, it's Mark. Thank you for tuning in. Here we have a 2020 CK case assortment from Hot Wheels. I appreciate you watching the video. I also appreciate those of you who have joined me on Marble Grooves. Let's open it up and see what was in this mix. Hopefully we get a treasure hunt. Even better if we get a super treasure hunt. There's a new model right there. That was a new model in the last assortment, 2020B. This is a C case assortment. Now you will have uh, carryovers. So uh, you will have cars that carry over from the B case to the C case. This way, if you didn't get a chance to find it, that you, it's, it's gonna show up again, usually two cases. Here you have heavy hitcher. Let's move this out of the way. Here you have heavy hitcher. To, uh, fantasy toy truck, fantasy tow truck model from Hot Wheels, Grupo X24, Roller Toaster, this was a new model in the last case, new for 2020, 2 Jet Z, it's a custom car that was made by a fellow who uh, who showed up at the Legends Tour. Anyway, he was the winner for 2018, I believe. This car, 2 Jet Z, and Hot Wheels made it into toy car form. One thing that uh, is interesting, has a metal base and a metal body because it's smaller. And they can do it that way, right? It's uh, not a whole lot of metal to begin with. It's a smaller car. Fun car. A lot of people are liking this Roger Dodger with like a steampunk decoration. The wheels look fantastic. Everything hitting on point with this model, with this release, I should say. Let's clear the plastic. It's part of the Art Cars series. So it's the letter, letter R in the Art Cars series. I don't know what it's gonna spell out for this year. 4GT, now speaking of treasure hunts, in the last case, if you find this one, with uh, special tires, or uh, rubber tires, and special paint. That's a super treasure hunt, very rare. I hope to get one myself. Ford GT, one of the cars I love to collect. Twin Mail Generation E. Hot Wheels coming out with electric versions of their cars. Here you have Super Van, again, part of the Art Car Series. Has King decorations on the side, but on top, you get the Ace of Hearts. It's gonna be a 10 car series. This is number nine out of 10. I wonder what the others are going to be. BMW K1300R motorcycle. Not one of my favorite motorcycles, but it's nice to have different models to collect. Buy what you like, buy what you can afford, and enjoy the hobby. There's another twin mill. Jean, green, Porsche Panamera, Turbo S E Hybrid, Sport Turismo, has tail light decorations, has a license plate, they got the Hot Wheels logo for the license plate, and in the front uh, you have a Porsche logo on the hood, there's diaper dragger, Robo race car, Dodge Viper SRT 10 ACR. A lot of cardboard dust. And the HW Armored Truck. Uh, this one only got decals on one side, that's it. Nothing on the rear, nothing on the top, nothing in the front. That's interesting that it didn't get uh, two, two, two hits. Oh yes, Thunderball. 007. You have the 65 Ford Mustang convertible. This has been in the Hot Wheels lineup for many years, but now it does not have an opening hood. So if you want to collect versions of the 65 Mustang convertible, uh, you know, you can hunt some older versions that have that opening hood. Porsche 917 LH. Uh, looks like it's fast, huh? And here you have the Holidator. Here's a new model from this case. 
New for 2020, first appearance, you have the Volvo 850 Estate. In this case, is the USA mix or English mix. So uh, the USA or English packages have these special blurbs on the back for new models. And this is new for 2020. There you have Volvo 850 Estate. Pretty good tampo job. Tampo being the tampo machine that prints the colors. Pretty good tampo hits on there. I found one in the stores already, actually, and it was a not very good, a little spotty, but it's all right. It's nice to get station wagons in the mix. Yeah, in the United States, uh, this type of car is called a station wagon. But over there in Europe, what they call these estates. That would be this st style of vehicle. It doesn't seem to me that they really have... Uh, uh, station wagons that much anymore. Everybody's going with more fuel efficient cars. Chrysler Pacifica. Another second color, I believe. I like this car. Is it a car? Mm, SUV. See, that's what I'm talking about. Not too many uh, getting away from station wagons and estates. Here you have Grass Chomper. It's a ride on. If you have a minifigure, you could put your minifigure right there and ride on it. Let's see, what's the base code? Uh, base code M36. Hard to see. M36. That means it was produced the 36th week of 2018. And if you look behind the package, it's kind of hard to see, but there's uh, some text on there. And on the model itself, Circle Flame logo right there. This is the treasure hunt for the C case. If you, if you find a uh, grass chomper, every case they'll have like a treasure hunt and... They have a super treasure hunt. If I'm lucky, I'll get the super treasure hunt too. Last case, the B case, this was the basic treasure hunt, the Mercedes Benz Unimog 1300, and it had Circle Flame logo right on the door. Now, I didn't make a big deal about it, I showed it. Not only that, look, you, you can see the text behind the car right there if you're paying attention. So, uh, when, when I was doing the video, you know, I, I didn't point it out, I just kept going, and then they go. Ch -ch -ch -ch. That means that uh, I seen the treasure hunt, I just didn't say it. I, I teach you guys what to look for, and then you can see it, it's up to you. RV there yet, this is another new model. 2020, appeared in the last case. I'll just pause this for a moment because I already showed it. So for those who tune in every case, you know, they don't wanna get bogged down with it every time. Ford GT40, again, two samples in the case. Thank you very much, Ford GT40, my favorite licensed car to collect. I mentioned that I love the graphics. Look great. Very good graphic presentation on that, on that model. Got a little, uh, little busted blister. It happens. Look, they're $1 toy cars. You know, it happens. Another RV there yet. And a second heavy hitcher. Custom 71 El Camino from the old Team Hot Wheels days. Got your big uh, rocket blaster in the back. You can search for uh, Team Hot Wheels El Camino. Maybe you find uh, Hot Wheels videos on those. Here you have the 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. This is a nice model to collect. I like it. It sure got a lot of graphics on there, but uh, still, there's one side. Nothing in the back, nothing in the front. Uh, and top side, there's the two sides. It is neat that you see the smoked windows. Here you have these uh, smoked plastic parts. So that's probably all one piece. This piece probably connected to the windows and that would be it. Here you have 65 Chevy Impala. Uh, I'm glad this one's back in the mix. Pretty cool looking car. This I think is a tuned, yeah. See, it's a tuned version of the 65 Impala. And the color is fantastic. Glad to have that. The embosser. And this is one of those models, if you stick a piece of paper in there and then you squish this, you stick a piece of paper in there and when you squish it, it'll emboss or imprint something on the, uh, on the uh, paper. And if you see, see right there, it shows a Hot Wheels logo that it'll make a Hot Wheels logo when you press it. I assume that's what it does. You can try it yourself. I don't know if they change that ever or if it's always a Hot Wheels logo. 76 Greenwood Corvette. Nice gold color. Almost could be a super treasure hunt with that uh, paint decoration. And in talking about the Ford Escort RS1600, to where the window piece 
goes through and see it's the headlights for this Corvette. Uh, I like when they do that. That's kind of like a little something special, a little bonus, you know. It's one of the ways they can do it. 67 Jeepster Commando. Uh, is this supposed to be the, this might be the super treasure in another case. I forgot. But this is a regular decoration. What they do for the super treasure is they take this model, give it a super ice treatment, and that would be the super ice, super treasure. And one car, each case assortment, not necessarily in each case. Pedal to metal returns after 10 years. Yeah, they released it once 10 years ago, and then uh, they wait another 10 years. So I suspect now that it's back, they'll probably, we'll probably get some more colors. Skull shaker. Sometimes if, if you watch the 10-packs, uh, when you watch the 10-packs, you see, or 9-packs, multi-packs, you get uh, sneak peeks of cars that are going to come out in the basics. 95 Mazda RX-7. Do we take a look at that? It's not likely, but the Super Treasure Hunt could be on the bottom. We'll find out right after this break. And here we go. Uh, do I have all the rows in here? One, two, three, four, five, six times six, 36. Yeah, 72 cars in the case, 36 on the bottom, 36 on the top. Hey, don't fall. You got, I need you to come with me. Uh-oh, Timber. Hey, I think that's a new model right there because the big blister, I know that there's going to be a new model in this case. We'll find out right now. Another custom 71 El Camino. Two samples. This is a new model. Total disposal. Uh, could be a tuned version of a trash truck. Recycling truck. Track car? It doesn't say. <laughs> I, I don't. Uh, it might work in the boosters. It has a metal base. Metal base. The sides are uh, not too bad. The wheels do stick out a little bit, so that might affect it. Uh, does not necessarily have a, a, an extended front bumper. Oh, but this part right here, trying to go through the loops, because I think the curvature of the loop is going to hit this right here. Might not be a track car. They don't say it's a track car. Part of the HW Metro series. Let's see. Here's what it says on the back. This ride is so stinking cool that it's safe to say no one will be holding their nose when this bad boy rolls up. Would you like to be the person that writes uh, the, the stuff on the back? You know, you get to be creative. Cool one. This one's been, this one's been, uh, this model has been in the uh, Hot Wheels lineup. Uh, has it been 10 years? It might have been 10 years already. Doing it up. I'm pretty sure it's been 10 years. Doing it up has not gotten that many releases. There's another Mustang convertible. 2008 Lancer Evolution. Uh, I'm not necessarily a car guy, so I learn about this stuff through the toys. Advan, yeah, you know, uh, what, auto parts? So definitely recognize the graphic style for Advan and looks great. It's got a red base. Again, M36 base code. Pretty nice. No graphics in the back, just on the side and on the top, but uh, looks good. There you go, another Hollinator, mixed wheels, yellow, gray, yellow, gray. It's supposed to be released like that. It is not an error, Hyper Rocker. Second sample, what do we have? There you go, new for 2020, flying into your store soon. Has a little stand on the bottom. I paused it on the back. I didn't know what to say. I just paused and I looked at it. So it's nice to get the uh, stand on there. Man, they have a lot of Batman models. It's not a Batmobile, but it's a Batman model called Batplane. Has a choking hazard on the package. Probably because of that stand right there. A couple samples of high-tech missile. Uh, if you like track cars, this is definitely a car that you want. High-tech missile. Fantastic in the boosters, loops, and curves. You have Cruise Bruiser. That's been around a long time. 
Another poor Spanamera. Oh, no. This is, I hate this error. Got some uh, metal flashing. This part when they were doing the metal has some flashing that should have broken off and it should have been uh, removed before they assembled the car. Now they said, uh, that's not going to roll. Uh, that's no good. What else do we have here? 70 Ford Escort RS 1600. Another cool one. Eighty nine Porsche nine forty four Turbo, the new model in the last case. So this is the second appearance. Love the nineteen Ford Ranger Raptor. Uh, the graphics are just fantastic. I really, really like collecting that model. And another Chrysler Pacifica. Just at a glance. Three, two, one, go. Because I showed a last case. So you should have turned in, tuned in last case. 76 Greenwood Corvette again. Another Dodge Viper. And here you have the uh, Volvo 850 Estate again. New model. Yeah, graphics looking pretty crisp. I don't see any blotchiness. Oh, there's a little bit by the O right there. Oh, no, it's on the thing. Yeah, this one got really good. This one got really good uh, printing on it. 96 Porsche Carrera. Black, just clean. Nice, nice and clean. No uh, graphics on there. Silly stuff. It's okay. They're toys. I'm just kidding. It does say uh, Porsche or Carrera in the rear, and it does have headlight printing and Porsche logo on the hood. There's another total disposal. New model in this case, Halo. There you have the Sword Warthog in red. Uh, I did not notice this in the last case. Oh, it says no step. You're not supposed to step there. Uh, I presume because it's fiberglass. You step on that, you can break that. Not the toy. Uh, the real vehicle from the game, right? Halo. Hi, how are you? Eight crates. There's another model. Welcome back. And, you know, that's why Mattel has so many cars. Sometimes they give them a break for a while, and then they come back. Eight crate. I forgot. Uh, it's a, you know, a custom version of a car. I forget uh, what the, it's customized from. I don't think it's a Nomad. I think it's something else. I'll look at the back and see if it says Porsche 917 LS. Second sample. I don't think I showed the top very well on the last pass. So there you have your green decoration continue on the top. And I found this in the store, 68 Chevy Nova. Really, really nice. You know, Hot Wheels, they'll have a, a camouflage series sometimes. And the camouflage will just be printed on the side, printed on the top. But, in, but it doesn't like wrap around the curves. They did a really nice job getting the camel pattern to wrap around the curves. Yeah, that looks, that's a good looking camouflage model. I like it, except with the, uh, so it has a flying tigers type decoration. Uh, you won't be able to hide in the desert very well with, uh, with that, but at least you'll scare somebody if they come up. Uh, so let's see, does it say on the back? See, it is a Ford licensed vehicle, but I don't remember so it's definitely not a Chevy Nomad, because uh, Ford, because, you know, eight crate. Anyways, let's see, getting near the end here. Ah, oh, here's another new model. Rockin' Santa Sled. There you go. New for 2020. There you have it. How much you want to bet they'll use this quite a few times for their end-of-the-year Christmas sets? Yeah, we're going to see this. So rock in, so you can see the rocking motion. So when you roll it, I presume, to one of the wheels, yeah, see right here? See this little tab on the wheel? So when you roll the vehicle, uh, your little dude's gonna rock back and forth. It's all right, it's all right. Fun stuff, toy cars, right? But to be honest, even though I found the C-Mix in the stores, I did not buy that Rockin' Santa because I knew it was going to show up in my case unboxing video. So I don't need that many extras of that one. HW450F. Especially if you're going to do downhill racing with it. 
those that uh, moving feature parts going to slow down the car? I mean, it might be fun to drive around, right? But if you're if you do downhill racing, yeah, you don't want you don't want nothing messing around with the wheels. Nothing bumping the wheels because that'll slow down the car. Slide kick has that uh, sliding seat. You pull the tab, pull this seat slides out. Another two Jet Z, another ninety five Mazda, and three left. The we already seen diaper dragger. We didn't see that yet. Power Rocket, glad to see it in the basic mix. Sometimes you see it in multi-packs, so nice to get it in a single. And if, uh, if you buy cars for kids, buy this car. Kids like that car. And it works in the boosters, loops, and curves. 68 Dodge Dart Mopar. With this decoration, kind of reminds me of an old series. I don't know why. I look at it and I think, is that a reissue? I don't know. It looks very similar to something that they might have done in the past. If you didn't know, here are some of my other channels. Subscribe to what you like. Don't forget to check your subscription feed. Sometimes if you're gone for a while, you might miss something. Not only from me, just from your favorite creators. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.